Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna review the Cotton G3 Harness, which is made by the manufacturer called Cotton. They're a family-run company. They're creating uh, carrier products for wildlife photographers, nature photographers, and so on and so forth. I'm hearing a lot about them. A lot of people are talking about them. A lot of people say they want them, but don't have one yet. So I thought I would at least create this so that the few of you out there that actually are that serious about the craft will actually uh, look at this review. Now, the cotton carrier, and here it is next to me, is basically exactly what it says. It's a carrier that allows a camera to be put right here and, and run vertically. So you can hang the camera there and, and be in comfort. Um, it has various you know, clasps and so forth. There's a, if you look right here, there's a, there's a little strap right here that goes over top of your lens to secure that to it. Um, I'm gonna put it on here in a second and show you how it all works. Um, on the back, there is a, a pouch where you can put things, uh, you know, you can put like, you know, this pouch right here, you could put, a cell phone in it. You could put uh, virtually you know, anything you want in there. It, 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 something that you don't want to fall on because if you land on your back, it's going to hurt. Um, it's designed to ride high, I think, with my body type. Uh, more football player-esque, if you will. I think it rides a little too high for me. I'm going to go ahead and put it on. And you put your head through there. And you put your arm through this. And I'm not gonna totally secure it. There's a, I guess I can. There's a strap right here that connects it. And then it rides right here on your shoulders. Now, you're probably hearing all this through the microphone. Sorry about that. There it is. It rides just like that. And uh, during my testing, I tested this for First of all, just around the house, just walking around the house with my big lens on it and checking that out. I, I tested it on location on a trail and then at a waterfall that I recently photographed. There is a an attachment here that they make that's specifically designed to fit into this harness. So what it ends up doing is it does this. Put it in to the left like this, you turn it, and then it just kind of sits there in front of you. <clears throat> and as long as you have a lens like this, if you're a 50, you know, 16 to 35, 100 millimeter, you know, a 135, maybe even up to a 200. When you get this bad boy on there, things start to change. Um, but before I get into the large lens and what I think about that, let me just tell you what I think about this. I think I like this setup. I think being able to um, have it in front of you and quickly grab it, twist it, pull it out, you're ready to go. Why is this nice for wildlife photographers? For a wildlife photographer, you often have your main camera, you know, your, your 200 to 600 there, ready to go at a moment's notice, but then you want a second camera. Maybe for doing, you know, on the fly, um, macro work or on the fly shots of scenics. Maybe you wanna keep a, a 70 to 200 on this one. Now you're getting up there and weight again, but maybe you wanna keep a 70 to 200 on this one, and on your other camera, you keep, uh, you, you keep the uh, 200 to 600. However you wanna deal with it, it does distribute the weight fairly well, okay? Um, you wanna get the straps tight. You wanna, you wanna tighten them down here, tighten it around your waist or your chest in my case. Um, <clears throat> it's designed to carry it high. What is one of the problems with that, that I ran into? The problem with that is that if you are trying to transverse terrain that is rocky, um, this happened to me while, while I was on the trail uh, photographing the waterfall, I tended to, this got bumped a few times because you got, you got, it's almost like you gotta think of yourself as being really, really fat now. So it's like your belly is out to here, basically now, is the way you gotta think of it. Because if you go twisting like this, and bang, there's a tree right there, right? You gotta really be paying attention to what you're doing. 
And when you're on trails that require you to like boost yourself up, you know, where, where it happened to me, was I actually had to boost myself up on some rocks and push myself up. I mean, we're serious wildlife photographers, right? So I had to boost myself up. But when I did that, this scraped a rock right here. This scraped the rock I was trying to boost myself up over. So you've got to really be careful with what you're doing with it. However, it is an awesome feature at $119. Um, it has a rain shell down here that, I don't know if you can see it or not, there it is, it hangs off the side. Um, <clears throat> but now, I want to show you what happens when you put the big boy on here, the 200 to 600. Let's do that. All right, are you ready to see this? Because it's not as easy. You still got this right here. Now, you can move it. It's recommended. I didn't want to change it out, but it's, it's recommended that you that you move the little tripod foot thing here attachment to the tripod foot on your lens. Now, when you do that, it's going to ride really high. It's going to be right here in front of your mouth. That can be a problem. You could bust your face on it. That's not cool either. So I, I, I don't know. I mean, here's how awkward it is. I slide it in. I'm sitting down. So look, look how far I'm going to have to lean back and shift that thing. Now when I lean forward, I'm bumping into everything here. I'm going to have to lean back a little bit. The weight is not bad right now, okay? And I recommend that you wear a collared shirt so you can slip this under. Otherwise, it bites into your neck. Um, I wrote Cotton Carrier about this, and they said that, you know, it's guaranteed to support the weight, okay? This thing is guaranteed to handle this six, eight pound combination. But what ends up happening is, um, what I found is it does put a lot of stress on your neck. And right here, as I'm sitting down, it's not a big deal. But when I stand up, I don't, I'm not going to stand up for you guys here. I'll go out a shot and it'll be stupid looking. But when I stand up, it just pulls. The weight pulls. Um, but again, you can mitigate that weight by wearing clothing that's more padded, that's padded up around the neck. Um, I recommend it. I, I sent them, I actually sent them a message and I had some recommendations for them. The first one I recommended was I want some, I want some additional padding right here up around my neck on both sides. I want uh, thicker, wider straps to distribute more weight. I want um, the back panel to be more robust so that it pulls down on the back rather than pulling everything forward. You know, if you think about, one thing you can think about, if you think about a backpack, you ever, you ever wear like a, a frame backpack? I've only done it like once or twice, but the weight, it's designed so that it tips backward and the weight is against the top of your butt basically, right? Well, here it's pulling forward on you all the time. And so you're getting some stress right in the back where that, where the back panel is. Not bad. If you're wearing this for three hours, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel it. What combination do I recommend? I mean, if you can handle it, absolutely do this. If you can handle it. Again, going back, I recommend using this with lighter lenses. Um, I think it's great for backup lenses. Um, I think it's a good product overall. I recommend it. I recommend that you check it out and, and see for yourself. I think with bigger guys like me, it's, it's, I don't know. It's not quite there. It's not quite there. It's not quite what I expected, but it does the job better than anything else out there on the market right now. It also has, I don't, I don't, know, I think, I don't think I have it connected. Yeah, I do. It also has this nice little tether right here that can be connected to your camera that if in case something should fail or you should drop it while you're pulling it out this will catch and it'll pull and keep your camera from from dying it really is a great concept overall i mean i, I can't complain about it um other than what i've said i i like i said i i don't know what necessarily how i don't think it would i don't think it would handle like an older 600 f4 for example I, I don't think you could mount like a an old canon you know 600 f4 on here maybe one of the newer ones but i don't think you could do it with this it's just gonna be too much let me go ahead and take it off here real quick 
<clears throat> comes off very easily. Um, no problems there. Uh, is there anything else I need to say about this before we end it? I really like the, I guess it's probably a patented locking mechanism, but I really like that. I think they did a good job. Overall, this is fairly sturdy. Um, I also told Cotton that I think it would be better if they um, <clears throat> think in terms more of a military um, plate carrier that you would, that you would use for carrying the heavy, um, you know, bulletproof armor, essentially. So that would make it just so much more interesting as far as like weight distribution and so forth. But I think for our for what we do for wildlife nature photographers, I recommend it. Uh, at least try it, you know, try it for a few days. If you don't like it, send it back. Um, but I do warn that the, the big lenses could be a problem. Um, and maybe it's just me, but that's just the way I felt. Anyway, thanks for watching this review. Make it a great day. Get out there and enjoy nature. Bye-bye.